Good morning. Uh, we're going to paint this. Uh, we call this motif number two. Uh, it's one of the most painted scenes uh, on Cape Ann. It's an iconic scene in Essex, House on the Marsh. All right, we're going to begin with, uh, I am using Windsor Blue and a touch of Cobalt Blue in the sky. And on the left here, I'm bringing in a little bit of rose just to change the look of the sky and to bring in a sort of a cloud activity over there and just just uh, mix them you know mix them together so that you don't have any hot edges let it all run where it may give you a nice nice cloud sky effect up there and I'm going to use basically the same color for the water here I'm painting around the house the house is reflecting into the river this is the Essex River so I'm putting a first wash on there same this is the same mix as the sky except I'm going to go in here and make it much darker in the front so this is Windsor Blue Windsor Blue dries very light so you can at least 50 percent lighter than it looks so put in plenty of color there and let it soften give it a little spray reflections come straight down so if you give it a spray it's gonna come right down and I'm using a little bit of rose I just a touch of rose mixed with that blue to create this gray and I'm just painting the front of the house where the white is reflecting down softening the edges just softening the edges as it touches the blue okay little same thing on the side it's a little grayer so I added a little more pigment. It's a little violet color. Just softening the edges. Uh, horizontal uh, movement there. <clears throat> I let that water come straight down. All right, we're back up at the house. I'm just putting, I'm painting, basically painting the shadow side of the house. That's just the violet. A little tiny touch of raw sienna will gray it down and then uh, the roof is in sunlight pretty much there's a shadow on it that I'm gonna put on it later on and underneath that porch it's it's actually very dark but I'm gonna put a first wash in the same and the porch is all the same in violet so that's the shadow side of the house basically painted little shadow underneath the porch there there's, there's a vine that comes uh, right up under there uh, the, they planted a beautiful vine that grows right up over the porch so it blocks their heavy sunlight I just pop it in the windows here shadow color and I added a little raw sienna into that violet to make a gray and this is very light gray for the roof I'm actually going to make it a little lighter than it is, but I'm just painting it in now with this gray. Okay, and the roof below it is even lighter. It's getting more sun than the than the main roof. So I added a little water, and I'm bringing that water up onto uh, the main roof. So just a little bit lighter all right so you, there you have the shadow side of the house I'm going back in now onto the porch and painting uh, around the uh, the poles uh, the supports for that roof all right I'm just paint, painting those in around the poles and now I'm going to go in and just square that off All of this is like a first wash. You know, we're gonna go in and it's a lot darker underneath that porch, so we're gonna go in and do that. But first I just wanna establish the shape. Little raw sienna on the bottom where the grass is growing. Pop in these windows. There's three windows on the side of the house. There's a very dark shadow up against the house so the house is casting this very dark shadow onto that roof and 
just the eave of the house has a little more shadow on it and just touching the windows they're wet so if you touch them with a dark wash it'll spread nicely but right, I'm gonna pop in the chimneys a little bit of red mixed with cobalt blue will give you a nice color for the nice color for the chimneys All right, nice shadow cast on the by the chimneys onto the roof. There's a nice shadow under that roof onto the porch. So I'm popping that in with some dark color and then a uh, little bit on the windows and then I'm going in basically with water and loosening the edge so I don't want that hard edge under there so I'm just touching the edge of it with water and letting it fade down into underneath the porch. All right, I'm using Aurelian Yellow here on the on the marsh itself. It's a very bright marsh so uh, I'm starting with Aurelian Yellow get that first wash in there basically just cover the whole marsh all right I added a little bit of green uh, and this is cobalt blue teal mixed with the aurelian yellow so I'm putting it a little darker in the back because the whole marsh is wet now and it's all going to come down and give you a nice, you know, you notice how I'm painting in, ri in ribbons, you know, I'm painting these lines, these ribbon lines, and that gives it a nice grass look as that comes down. All right, I'm going to establish the edge of the marsh here. That's a little quinciana mixed in. I want to get a little darker with that and drier. There's less water here, so the green will come down to it and run over it and give you a nice sort of a grass look which you like All right, a little darker here you know you can go i just added some ultramarine blue to the quinciana All right, i'm running a bead of brighter green this is the cobalt blue teal mixed with the aurelian yellow i'm lifting off a, just some light on the marsh itself just taking a towel and creating some ribbon lines up there you know it's nice to create some texture on the marsh just just covering the front piece there there's some grass this is going to be darker and richer it's right in front of you so I'll go back to that later and enrich it with some greens okay right, I'm going up with the same green I'm just going to touch a little bit of that curve where the grass is coming over the edge. I want it to run right down. All right, this is the shadow of the trees in the back that are gonna reflect into the water. I'm putting it in now. And I started with a, a deep uh, ultramarine with mixed with uh, gold to get that dark and then I'm just adding some a little bit of quinciana it's a very warm reflection that's the edge of the house the reflection of the edge of the house so I'm placing that and then what I want to do is a lot of horizontal action here the, the, you know the water moves that way but the reflection comes straight down so I'm just creating the shape and letting it letting it run down I'm warming it up there with a little quinciana. A lot of horizontal, loosen up that edge. You don't want that hard edge. You want the edge to be moving. That's how you create the effect that the water is moving. Keep your brush moving in a horizontal way and it'll, it'll give you a nice look of of motion, you know, like this little ripples moving that water. All right, so we want to go in and loosen this edge up. 
This edge is the edge of the house reflecting into the water, but you don't want any hard edges up there. Water is moving, and so the edges are all soft. All right, this is the side of the house that's in shadow, reflecting down into the water. So it's just the gray, you know, a little bit of rose mixed with the blue will give you that nice, nice gray. So paint the shape first and then soften those edges just like you did on the other side. I'm softening the edge up against the marsh and letting it, letting that a little bit of that color run down into it because it's reflecting it into the water. All right, let's go in and soften that edge. Same thing, horizontal strokes, just breaking up the hot edge, giving that effect that it's moving that there's a little little activity in the in the water just a little bit of ripples moving it's a quiet day it's the Essex River is very very calm today little reflections of the chimney two chimneys down there all right so we've got a little more horizontal action just loosening up that big hot edge you know all right, let's get these big dark trees in. They're beautiful, and we want to really get those in. I'm starting with a dark here. This is uh, ultramarine with uh, a little bit of gold. You know, queen gold gives you a beautiful green. And if it's not dark enough, add a little bit of rose to it. The rose will help darken it. All right, so now I'm going into the tops of the trees. You can see I added some Aurelian yellow to that to brighten it up. Maybe a little raw sienna, whatever you think you see there. All right, and then same thing over here. A brighter, brighter green. Working the edge of the trees. Working that bright green into the dark green that I made. Creating that shape. The big shape of the trees. Just establishing the base of the trees. Now this is even brighter. I added a little bit of the cobalt blue teal with a really yellow. And that you know, it creates another line of brighter trees in the front there. You want to mix up the colors, you know, you don't want to have all, all one color. You know, trees are so uh, complex, there's so much activity going on. I added a little raw sienna here. These are the vines, uh, they planted some vines that grow up, right up on the porch of the house. And uh, I guess it blocks the, the sunlight from this side of the house. This is the east, east, southeast side of the house. So it gets a lot of sun. Right, there's a lot of uh, growth in the marsh itself, a lot of texture. And you want to get that in there. That helps to flatten it, helps to sit it down. And this is the edge of that. Uh, I'm going to go in and put some some growth uh, on top of that here. So it looks like, a, uh, it's not really, I'm, I'm not sure, it's, it could be some sort of uh, plant, but. It's very dark on the bottom edge of these, of the trees and the growth. And, you know, there's no light under there, so I'm just spotting in some darks and breaking up that big shape of, of green, a little bit of, a little more growth here. And then in the back, there's some very dark uh, areas inside, you know, the bottom of the trees. And that'll mix, the trees are wet, so that'll all mix together. But you can see how it, it, it helps. Some more uh, ribbons of lines there, it gives the impression that there's some texture and growth in the marsh and just spotting the edge here. 
adding a little more of that this cobalt blue teal with the red and yellow very bright and I'm letting it run down over I added this is the the darker green mixed with raw sienna that's the reflection of the grass onto the water okay so there it is we're almost done a few little few little details left and I'm going to add a ripple here in the water this is just a little bit of uh, winds of blue just adding a couple of ripples and I'll soften those with a little bit of moisture Just, just softening the edge a little bit here and there. All right. Just restating that dark edge of the trees back there. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you learned a few things. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you again soon. Thank you so much.